I've been using Rosehip Vital for a good 10 years now. I got busted up badly with, on a horse accident and I broke both sides of my hip and I was in a walk-in frame for four months. And it's been 10, 12 years later now and I'm still on it. And I've now got my horse on it and I'm thinking why would I not put my horse on it when I feel so good? She's been back in work riding since January and normally her tail would be a tail of mass destruction and her body language would say don't touch me but she just seems very happy within herself and very much at peace and her training just seems to be more obliging. My horse is not on it because there's been any soundness issues. I just think it can only enhance the horse's training and its natural ability to then want to work with me on the same page. And, and the horse is just, I, I quietly believe the horse is performing better, it's training better at home, and I've got a much happier horse in general at competitions. I, if I'm not on my tablets, particularly now, I'm 60, <laughs> which is a new 40, I wish. <laughs> but, you know, I've got arthritis, I've broken nearly all my fingers, I've had a few breaks in my body, but my pelvis was the worst one, my hip. Um, but the moment I'm not on my tablets, within the next 48, 72 hours, I feel it. I have difficulty holding reins in my fingers. And, and, it, and then, and I just feel when I get out of bed in the morning, I'm not on my tablets, I roll out of bed, I don't spring out of bed. So I can feel a difference, so I'm thinking, well, how must my horse feel being on rose hip vital all the time? I'm not going to advocate and, 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 and back something I don't believe in, and I've been on the tablets for the last 12 years.